Let's get into these brows. The first so. thing that I do is I take my spoolie. Mine is kind of broken up. Or in other words, broken down. It's old, don't judge me. I take this spoolie with a angled brush. That way I can have as much precision as I need when it comes to carving out my brows. And I also use this end of the spoolie to brush out my brows. So let me show you how I do that. So taking my e.l.f. compact, I basically use this mirror right here. And I brush up my brows just to get them in place and prepare them for what's to come. So yeah, just brushing up my brows. I mean, honestly, I had just gotten my brows threaded not that long ago, so they look kind of, you know, fresh. But we're going to get them fresher. The next thing I'm going to do is take my Anastasia, let me see if the camera will focus, yes, my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown, and I'm going to take the angled side of my brush, show you all again, and I'm just going to dip it in my Dip Brow and start to carve out my eyebrows. So yeah, just taking it dipping it and whatnot sidebar you have a mirror on the side as well so if you see me looking off to the side I'm looking at that mirror as a backup plan so yeah I'm actually not even gonna use the compact because I feel like y'all can really see what's going on if I just use this mirror so yeah just watch the technique so I like to do is I start like in the middle of my brow and try and get this back half of my brow as dark as possible. I don't like to put a lot of product at the front. I only like to put product or at least a lot of product in the middle of my brow going towards the tail of my brow. So I already dipped it in the dip brow, so now I'm just going to carve out my brows and then fill them in. So yeah, you want to accentuate what you already have. You don't want to overdo it. So if I were you, I'd kind of just follow the shape of your brow. That way it looks a lot more natural and it it makes sense. Don't do anything crazy unless if that's the look you're going for. But if you're trying to do like an everyday simple makeup look and just get your eyebrows together, because clearly mine are not, start. I would suggest starting at the middle of your brow and then working your way back and getting this area as dark as possible first. So let me go ahead and finish that. Okay, so I'm satisfied with how this came out. So without dipping my brush back in the dip brow, I'm going to go ahead and finish the front. I'm going for the ombre look with my eyebrows because that's what's worked for me, but you can do whatever you want. I'm showing you how I get my brows snatched. So without dipping it, I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush and lightly filling in the front with light strokes and continuing all the way to the back. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is like a little, you know, blank area to take care of that. I just brush this area up. Like I'll put a little bit more product. 
and really shape my brow and then I'll brush it up now I know this was crazy we gonna get it together using the same brush I'm now going to kind of just go around where I just filled in that way if there's any excess product that isn't necessary I can literally just brush it off or wipe it away and I also do this down here okay we here right I didn't lose y'all I didn't lose you we got this we got this so let me go ahead and do this other brow and then come back Okay, I'm back and as y'all saw I did go in to kind of fix this one up I don't know what it is let me know if this happens to y'all where one brow gives you no problems okay you put the product you clean them up with concealer and you good then there's always that one brow that resembles a middle child behavior it's like you say go left it goes right go up go down and I can't be bothered, but I am because it, the brows are on my face. My brows frame my face, so I need them to look like kinfolk. I mean, we get in there, but it's not exactly up to my standards. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my next step, which utilizes this brush and some concealer. So the first thing is get you a concealer that matches the tone under your brow. I like to go a couple shades lighter than my foundation. And my concealer of choice is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe or the number 50. I'm going to show that to y'all. Let's let the camera focus. And you can literally get this at any drugstore to be honest. My drugstore of choice is Walgreens. So I suggest grabbing a concealer like this one and I like to put my concealer on the back of my thumb that way I can gauge the amount of concealer I'm using. So just get that right on the thumb. I'm going to put a little bit more to make sure I have enough and then I take my I take my brush into that concealer and I same way I started filling in my brows it's the same you know strategy I use to clean up my brows mind you I don't do the halo brow I don't like the way it looks on right now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up under my brow so starting at the middle towards the arch just putting that concealer carefully and then whatever is left goes to the front like so okay like so so what you do on one brow you have to do on the other Long story short, you want your brows to look like kinfolk, okay? Your brows are not twins, they are sisters. You want to make sure that by the time you're done cleaning up and getting your eyebrows snatched, you want to make sure that they resemble each other at the very minimum, okay? 
your eyebrows need to be kinfolk because if they're not you gonna have a problem sis you gonna look crazy so anyways taking the concealer going right under the brow and I'm gonna take a little bit more cuz this concealer one thing one thing I don't necessarily mind with this concealer is that it does dry quick so you gotta use it and like so okay so now going back to this one I'm gonna use the same brush and just drag the concealer down or rather just kind of blend it down a little bit I'm gonna I'm going to just show y'all what I mean. Okay. And you see, we already got a arching brow. Now we got to do that to this one. I'm a little extra so I'll go ahead and take whatever's left on my brush and just put it like in between my brows it's something that I've been doing for years now I don't know why it's just a must for me so now that we've dragged the concealer down I'm gonna blend it out even more but this time I'm going to take the concealer down Closer to the lid at least, I'm going to go ahead and take a fluffy brush and just blend it out even more. True, I still like to go over the top of my brows, but instead of using concealer, I use foundation. My foundation of choice my favorite foundation or at least one of my favorite foundations is the fit me and I use the normal to oily foundation of from this line because I actually have oily skin so I'm in the shade 360 or mocha so I just take a little bit of foundation Honestly, y'all, I don't even I don't even pour it on the back of my thumb the way I do with the concealer. I literally just go like in the bottle itself, get whatever I can, and then go over the tops of my brows. Now, this needs to be blended or else it will dry down like that and we don't want that. So, blend that out as much as you can and as quick as you can. Okay, now we look in a little decent. And I'm just gonna do the other side real quick because y'all get the point. I don't know what's good with this brow today, but yep. Now we just blend in out the brows. And please feel free to do a little touch ups if you need to, because I know I'm about to, because I don't know what's going on with this brow today. But yep. This is pretty much. The finished brow look but i'm going to show you guys a complete full face that way y'all can see what i'm working with when i get my entire face together so just going back in with my dip brow to really just touch up this area because i don't know what's going on but oh there we go okay much better so you heard it here first this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope y'all got something out of it 
If you did, please go ahead and let me know in the comments. Go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications, all that good stuff. And last but not least, if y'all want me to do another video showing y'all how I got this entire face, then go ahead and let me know in the comments as well. And I will be more than happy to provide the content. Okay? I hope you all stay safe during these times and I will see you in the next video. Take care.